Um, hello there, today, well, this is, sorry, this is part two of China Rules the World, um, on Civilization 5. Um, so yeah, I've continued, well, yeah, I'm carrying on the series because I've got quite a positive response, um, from it. So, anyway, um... At the moment, we're just doing our social policy, and um, I'm doing honour, because I want to get a militaristic victory. So basically, I have to defeat um, all of the other cities, or nations, capitals, and I think there's eight in this game mode I'm playing as. So, yeah, um, a few improvements from the last video I've tried to fix the audio audio issue I don't know if it's helped so just put it in the comments um, and sorry if my voice sounds a slightly strange um, because I have a cold at the moment and oh yeah and sorry that I haven't been able haven't been able to post videos in a while because I've been really busy because we've got sats at the moment if you don't know what it is it's like a test which is really important so I've been revising and stuff for that <clears throat> so yeah um I might do some right so yeah anyway um so I'm just getting my worker I'm not sure what I'm doing with him but um, put in the comments if you think I should do any other series, so maybe TF2 or something, I'm not sure. But anyway, I found, I think this is Arabia or something, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, no, I'm not sure. But, so I'm getting my worker to build a farm to increase my production and my food. And I'm getting my warrior and I found Cape Town. But there is a, um, a country nearby, because they've already discovered Cape Town, so I only got 15 gold for meeting them. So, I'm getting my warriors again, just to scout out, I find some ancient ruins, which is good. And what I'm going to do with my scouts is I'm going to stop guarding these horses, because I'm, I'm going to make a cavalry army, if I didn't tell you in the last video. Um, and I need as many horses as I can get. Um, so, I'm getting my workers to construct a farm. And yeah, I'm doing a voiceover, if you don't know. I'm not doing this live. Um, because, oh, I found the ruins. So, archery, great, just what I needed, because I want to get knights. And I need archery to research knights, it's part of the technology tree. So yeah, I found another ancient ruins, and I'm just moving my warriors up on this hill. And in a minute, I will... F no, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Um, but in about... I don't know. Sorry, um, I accidentally just stopped the voice over for a second, so whatever. I accidentally clicked the button. So yeah, in about... I don't know, half a second, you'll see who I meet. And, um, I did something to them which was an extremely bad decision in a later episode, I think. An extremely, extremely, extremely bad decision. Because I meet someone very powerful. Um, but I, this is the same footage that. I used for my oh crap yeah it's Japan Japan and well in a later episode let's just say I accidentally attacked another unit of theirs so I research horse back riding but this basically is the same footage as um, the last part but anyway let's just open the technology tree maybe yeah so later on in the branching off of this tree thing 
So I need to get civil service, and then that will lead on to chivalry, which is on the right of your screens at the moment. So I've got horseback riding, so I can make the most of my army. I'm getting trapping, so I can get civil service, but I need to get writing and philosophy as well, which I didn't realise at the time. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, this is the same footage as I'm using as part episode one. I'm just I basically recorded about an hour's footage, I think, or 45 minutes, I can't remember, of footage, and I'm just splitting that into parts. But I'm not going to do one massively long episode because I'll just get bored to death um, because I'll just run out of things to say. But, um, yeah, I'm sorry that I haven't been posting in a while, but it's because of sats and stuff. Um, but, yeah. At the moment, I'm attacking these barbarians, and there's an encampment there. So, yep, that's the first. Okay, so I just found the city-state again. So, uh, um, I'm going to need to make a settler. Um, yeah, I need to make a settler, and I'm going to build it by my... Oh, another horse, more horses, by the horses, and later I'm going to build some set, a set, another settler by those horses, which is going to piss off Japan, but, you know, who cares, it's just Japan, the most powerful militaristic nation mid-bob in the game, you know, it doesn't really matter. But basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep fighting them until they give me with horses, well, if they give me a peace treaty, I will. They give me horses, which will be very beneficial for my army. And I'm getting, I've got a sore throat at the moment, so my voice may sound a bit croaky. But yeah, Max has started a new series up, um, which is uh, The Curse of the Chocolate Fountain. So yeah, watch that if you haven't seen it. It's quite funny. It's a bit, oh yeah, so here's my settler. I'm going to move these towards the horses, and I've just left my scout there just to guard the horses and to take out any settlers or any units that try to take it over. So, I'm thinking of getting a stable, when really I should be training, um, what is it, horsemen. So, let's see, do I get it? Do I get it? Oh no, I don't. I don't think I'm training any horses at the moment. So, um, with one culture per turn, and it's take and it's going to take me 50 culture to get my next social policy, which is the massive. Well, you know when every so often that big screen comes up with loads of different things. So that's the policies. So, I should have got a. Um, oh yeah, I should have got a temple which would have increased my rate of policies, but or my co 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 culture anyway. But you know, it doesn't really matter. Just get a water mill, you know. I want to produce some stuff quickly, and food does that. And I think if you have lower, if you ha if you because like each citizen requires a number of food. And if it goes under that, like, if you get minus food per turn, I think you get unhappiness. I'm not sure what. I think happiness is, starts a golden age or something. I can't remember. Um, but I'll have to look that up. But, yeah, I'm moving my settler um, towards the horses again. I'm just buying a tile at the moment so I can get that marble because my... Um, my workers, well, my workers have very much to do, so I'll just do that. And I'm trying to get as little farms as possible, or if I am, by a river, because when you get civil service, that boosts the production of food, I mean, yeah, food that farms produce, and I think this is the end, so see ya.